com nome. What kind of logo is that? Cook. <laughs> I have no idea. But look at this cutscene. Okay. <laughs> the castle chased after a woman. <laughs> what the hell, man? No, something else did. Oh no, I think it's a castle. I mean, why would they show the castle right after the chase scene? <laughs> <laughs> Wanna check out the options? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, by the way, hello. <laughs> hey! Uh, welcome back for some more Castlevania action. This time it's Legacy of Darkness, which is totally not the same thing as, uh, you know, um, Castlevania 64. No, it, wh what are you saying? It is not yeah, the uh, same game. It's... Um, okay, so Castlevania Legacy of Darkness is often regarded as the superior of the two games because it is closer to what the, the game designers had originally intended to make. It's a very good game. I guess I only have normal and easy. Let's go with normal. Yeah, and they, they focused on, the, on this character, Cornell, who was taken out of the original Castlevania for the Nintendo 64. What do you mean taken out? These are two completely unrelated games. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you wanna you don't wanna connect this game to the other one because the other one's kind of garbo. Completely unrelated. Well, anyway, what, what? while the cutscene is playing, hello, my name is Walter Richards from the Game Train, and this is Castlevania: Legacy of Darkness '64. Uh, you're with co-host Jack. Yes, the the uh, the Game Train's topmost expert on everything Castlevania. Castlevania Autism Engineer as well. <laughs> yeah, that, that also works. <laughs> I, I, I really love the cutscene. So you can tell already why why switch to this game immediately. Like this game started off with cutscenes, so I was like, yeah, this is more this is a real game. And I started playing it and it stuck with it. Man, the graphics and the environments look so remarkably similar to Castlevania 64. But how can it be? They're completely unrelated. Yeah, just, just ignore it. Let's just forget Castlevania 64 existed, because this game <laughs> also includes the campaigns from that game, so like, really does, like, it's a reboot in every, in every sense. I often consider um, <laughs> Castlevania 64's assets to be Legacy of Darkness assets just misused. Yeah, who made Castlevania 64 anyway? Fans? <laughs> yeah, probably. Look, look at this. Hmm. It's, uh, it's a dude with wings. <laughs> I, I guess he had one too many Red Bulls and now they, they stopped uh, disappearing after a usage. Also, that, that's a, uh, that's that coffin. woman was the one from the cutscene. That's a woman? That looked kinda like a dude. Like an anime no, that dude. A, that's... <laughs> oh my fucking god, don't get me started with that. Well, can you blame me? Anime men look all, a lot like anime women. And he's awoken. But that's the fake Dracula from 64. Not anymore, is it not? Oh, this is... Continuity errors! <laughs> Now, I love this <laughs> particular part of the cutscene because um, there's a little tunes. throwback. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a little throwback to the beginning theme from one of the other Castlevania games. <laughs> Those fucking skeleton models. <laughs> what is he doing? Why is he slapping the house? And that other skeleton in the background broke apart. Check out Bruce Lee's sick moves. Wait a minute, wasn't he dead by this point? <laughs> this is Bruce Lee's ancestor, Cornell. Cornell Lee. <laughs> Cornell Lee. Cornell Lee. <laughs> so this is Cor Con Cornholio. Cornholio. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as you can see, he tried to step into the rabbit hole house, but something fell down and he got scared. So instead, he picks up the shiny pendant. 
<laughs> well, I guess I won't be looting this place. I might as well take this. <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, though, this is a technically a the same thing as Castlevania 64. Two games are carbon copies, with 64 being the unfinished tech demo of the two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this game also addressed a lot of the issues involving the, the camera. Like, we'll, we'll probably we'll probably see that. Oh, I hope. I mean, I played this before, but I forgot. I forgot a lot of things. I mean, what I like about this game is that it actually focuses on the story. The previous one gave you, like, a shitty intro cutscene like, that lasted, like, five seconds. Yeah, the, the fucking Schneider, the... The yodeling meister. Courage, the yodeling meister. Courage, don't abandon me. Or whatever it was. Yeah, strength, courage, don't leave me, or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then we just spent yodeling through the woods. <laughs> yeah, and do keep in mind, this game released in like... It's in it the same released year. The exact same year, just like later in the year, I think... Castlevania 64 released in like, what, May? March or May, or one of the two. And like I said, Darkness released in November or so. Or so. And there it is, it's the prequel. We go back eight years in time. Hey, you read that from the screen. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> look, look, the information's Young there. warriors really risk their lives battling against the devil. They know the way. They know the way. Well, there it is. That's the way. To the castle. <laughs> Who is this asshole taking us through the river Styx? I don't know. He he has some problems with his body. Look at that. <laughs> he is oh thin. God. Why are we taking a boat to a boat? <laughs> oh, that's that's the that's a boatman of like hell or whatever. <laughs> Should we like? Go onto the boat from the docks or something? Why are we taking a boat to a boat? <laughs> well, the thing is, the the that boat is docked uh, near um near the castle. Oh god! Now I gotta remember the controls. <laughs> I don't oh, remember yeah. how to play. Well, I, I really like the attack, and it, the the spoopy ship also helps with the with the mood. But then we ruined it with this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then you ruin it with that. <laughs> the fastest method of travel in the game. Well, the convenient thing now is that in this game, you already automatically lock on. The lock on button from before is more like a lock on suggestion for the camera. Yeah, and what all it really does is it doesn't even lock on unless um, it's required. Like, there are some boss fights that, that all, like, yeah, they lock yeah. onto the weak spots, I, I think. Yeah, um, but here, the, the lock-on button is actually for... For just turning um, the camera around. Yeah, turning the camera around to where the, the character is facing. Yeah, which is convenient, I would say, because that was sorely lacking in the 64. When, especially in areas like the, the castle gate, where it's really narrow, you need to turn around to see what the hell's going on, but you have no way to do it without switching to yeah. some awkward uh, camera angle. <clears throat> I'm just breaking crates here. Hmm, Rajuwal. I recall that Cornell has some interesting abilities that other characters don't possess. Um, but yeah. Like for example, we can already see that he doesn't... He, like, he uses his hands to attack, but it's not a melee attack. He shoots... I think the game calls him, like, uh, Magic Scythes or something? Um... Uh, fuck, what's the name? I don't I mean, remember. Uh, they, they describe them as Blades of Energy, but the attack has an actual name. Energy Bolts. Oh, Energy Bolts. I remember that has something useful. Oh, oh, Aura Blast. Oh, oh! Look at that, an upgrade. Power up. Yeah, energy bolt is the name for it, but the actual name is Aura Blast. 
If you if you if you want to know right now, you deal thirteen damage with an upgrade, you deal sixteen point twenty five, and with the ultimate upgrade, you uh, you deal a nineteen point five damage. That's very nice. Because that, totally, that totally matters. As His you, age, is... as you oh? saw right there as well, the range on this thing is spectacular. So you don't have to worry about being too close to enemies. Mm -hmm. And the age of the character is twenty three. Oh, of course. Hmm, boat chicken. <laughs> oh, don't you fucking dare. I want to check what's going on up here. Oh, uh, that's the thing you can walk down. It's an invisible path. Uh, no! <laughs> I, I meant walk down the thing, not, not jump down. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted Damn to, it. I wanted to, like, walk back a little bit. <laughs> So this is gonna be like a very casual playthrough because honestly, do we even give a shit about being professional in this case? I mean... <laughs> I, I guess I'll take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, there's not much going on more than um, what happened in Castlevania 64. For the most part, this is the same game. It's just that it has been uh, reworked. And in case you're wondering, where's the music? Oh, it, it is there. It's just very quiet. Oh yeah, the first level has more of an ambience music than... Uh, than this is definitely else. more focused right now on just being uh, quiet tunes that play as you do shit. Oh yeah, look at... I always wondered what's up with this shit. I guess it was a secret. Oh. Oh, I have a beef with you. Hey! <laughs> Why does he do that? He actually... Oh, never mind, like... You, you need to go down the, the top mass to grab some extra food if you want. But here's the thing, this game actually... Like, in this game, the clock actually matters a lot more. Like, uh, um... But not in this what, uh, character's playthrough, I think. No. No, it does. Um, it does? A little bit, yeah. So, um, in the previous game, I think the clock didn't matter as much as it does in this one. Um, you could get one of the... There's like a mini boss fight before Dracula that is Renon. If you spend too much gold with him, he, he like... Uh, he appears as a demon and tries and that to... Pre that pretty problem. much guaranteed that uh, Butter Jesus would lose because he wouldn't have enough time you wouldn't have enough time to get to him yeah let me just take so, this so the issue um in this one is on top of renon you also have another time uh time based thing like i don't think the the clock starts counting until after you you finish the villa level or like uh, after you started, actually, I don't know. Like it, the clock doesn't tick for this one because they let you um, figure well, out the controls. Well, it does. It just seems to be slower, maybe. I don't know. No, no, no. It, it, I mean, it, it, it's it's evidently moving, but I mean, it doesn't count towards the uh, bad ending. Oh, okay. Also, another neat thing is that you can adjust the camera zoom with the right analog. Well, in my case, the right analog, because I recall the yeah. N64 controller doesn't have more than one analog. Oh yeah, you have controller camera. By the way, you can also slide. Yes. Something that I need to remember, because that turned out to be very useful in a previous game's final boss. Get yeah. out of here, skeleton. What the fuck's wrong with you? And... And weapon upgrade, like, grabbing more of the same, uh item like weapon yeah the sub weapons also get upgrades you can see that by the number one that's on the axe yeah a maximum of three and they deal either more damage or they they get some improvements like there are more of them i know that the holy water does not get much of an improvement it's just more damage and maybe slightly more uh, area of effect but it's still generally not that useful yeah it it gets bigger the, the splash gets bigger and deals more damage. Is, is uh, the axes are definitely useful. I found them most useful for I some, mean, of the, some of the larger should... enemies and bosses. I f I, in fact, I think the first boss here benefits from you having an upgraded axe if you can get it. 
Yeah. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, the first boss here actually uh, took me by surprise. When you play, so when you finish the playthrough of this game, you unlock hard difficulty. I was telling whether he should like artificially enable it through cheats, but uh, ah, fuck it. Who cares? We can do it with yeah. other characters. What the hell? <laughs> it's a big hand. A big hand. Fucking battle toads. How the fuck did the hand fit through there? It the clipped. Shit? It clipped. Did, didn't you see? It just no clip for the wall. <laughs> Motherfucker. Fucking cheaters. I knew it. You know, you can see that the water is flooding the boat, but does it really raise the water? I can't tell it that it does. It does, but do you know the speed at which it does it? It's all this is this all artificial thrill. It's to like get you move your get your ass moving. I noticed it pretty quickly that it was super slow because I had fallen. Oh shit! I accidentally took the wrong thing. I you got fucked I, up. I had accidentally fallen down there a few times and. Every time it was the same level, so I figured, oh, it must be just there for the hell of it. Monus. Uh, try interacting with that chest. Oh, it actually is interactable? I think so. Like, most weird items, like objects around, you can, like, get something out of. No, no this okay, doesn't you can't do out anything. Of that one. Yeah, so, mo most of them do, like, statues and stuff like that. Yeah. Actually, this is how I figured out something. You, you remember that statue in the 64 playthrough that had the mm -hmm. cross that I couldn't pick up? Yeah. I had to interact with the statue's uh, base to get it. Mm-hmm. But how the and... fuck are you supposed to know that? It's like the cross is right on top of it. And you sank the ship. Good job. Yeah, I'm already at the dock, so it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, that start that starting sequence uh, freaked me the fuck out when I like that the the sinking part freaked me the fuck out when I was uh, you know, in elementary uh, school. Cornell's purple sleeve has some s interesting uh, symbols on it. It kind of reminds me of stuff you would see in a Zelda game. Oh yeah, yeah. He wears really he, he he's wearing really weird clothes, but it's because yeah, he looks like supposed... an elf too. <laughs> yeah, he's a man beast. Um, Actually, you can you can turn, but I don't advise you do it. Here's the motherfucker right there. Oh, I hate that stupid move so much. Oh uh, yeah, because it's not it like it gives you barely enough time to crouch. I, which is I the just only don't know you how you dodge it. it. It never fucking yeah, you, dodges. You have this, to crouch. You have to crouch for that. Yeah. What? But it looks like it's grabbing you by the feet. Yeah, no, that's just the that's just the. The Don't fingers. fucking spit at me. Yeah, boss fights already. I, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, you motherfucker. Can you fall off a ledge here? Uh, no. Oh fuck. I hate that move so much. I'm not a big fan heal. of this boss fight, heal. to be honest. Yep. Um, I don't mind it, but it gets really annoying. The, the easiest way to defeat it is by turning into a man-wolf and just start beating the shit out of it. But, I'm, but like, there's really no point, because... Here's the only issue I have with the whole man-wolf power thing. It drains you cannot... your jewels like crazy and you can't turn it off. Yes, exactly. You cannot turn it off. Which is annoying if you turn it on at a bad time where there's nothing going on. Your gems just get drained instantaneously. That said, you're not as reliant on uh, your jewels or, uh, or side items as Cornell as you are with other characters. So I guess that, because like his main attack is already ranged. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking good. The only character that has a melee weapon per se is Schneider. Mhm. Mm Everyone else has some sort of a ranged weapon. Even Cornell here is ranged, even though he's using his hands. Yeah, and, and I mean, um, what's it? Henry gets the. Uh, w w by the way, you're gonna meet Henry in this playthrough. Oh yeah, you meet him as a him. as a little kid, actually. Yeah, um, Henry's uh, gun is actually a reworked version of the revolver. Um, Collar was gonna get in the original from Revolver version. Ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was gonna have a uh, he was gonna have a revolver and a chainsaw. No, a shotgun and a chainsaw. The shotgun got reworked into the the 
revolver he uses, like, uh, Henry uses. Okay. <clears throat> so here's the first encounter with a giant uh, skeleton. The skeleton looks a lot better, and the game also runs a lot better. He is still surprisingly not interesting. <laughs> it's the same oh, yeah. boss as before. There's nothing new here. Don't dodge me, you. You, you bastard. Oh, money. <laughs> it's still pretty good. Slightly like, different music. Yeah, and at le and and you're not dealing with a stupid um uh what's it the 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 the, the fucking bikes. The bikes really weren't that bad. No, I just I just don't like them. They're just and just keep going around. Ah, uh, hate them. You don't like boikes? Boikes, no. Unfortunately, we can still expect crashes, but this is not uh, the game's fault. This is more of a emulator's problem. <laughs> 